my god, people, welcome back to The Walking Dead, and we are back to episode 2. So yeah, I did like a couple videos of us playing Minecraft, but we are back. Okay, hold on. So the reason why you guys couldn't see the subtitle is because of the brightness, and I just noticed that. Ugh. So we just finished episode 1 of New Day, and now we are back to play Start for Help. <sighs> time to get ready, guys. This time, we might get into some hell. And the babysitter will be the best. The babysitter. The best bad A babysitter. <sighs> I hope that Clemmy or Lee doesn't die. If they die, I'll throw my PS Vita. <laughs> okay, let's get to the game. Previously, I know who you are. Well, I've got another good one for you. Seatbelts. All by yourself through this. You still can't yeah. see there. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <sighs> and I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I don't like him. I wonder if he'll kill Car Lar Larry. Larry! <sighs> Still can't see their subtitles, and I'm getting a little mad. Finally back, people. Back for episode two. I'm a little excited. I'm like getting overexcited. First episode is crazy. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, good intro. Ooh, nice jacket, dude. Who's he? Damn. What'd they get this time? Looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, who's he? I forgot his name, I think. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. What? Who's he? Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? True. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. <laughs> we'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, uh -oh. it's getting pretty tense back at the motor. Inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Oh no. Kenny won't abandon us. A good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry hates everyone. No 
knows what Larry's problem is. Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I, True. Know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yep. There's such thing as chill pills, I'm pretty sure they suck. They have it. Bird. Don't. Gun shadow bring walkers. What bird's not worthy? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Shoot. I know what's going on. Oh no! Uh -oh. oh! Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Hey, Ken. Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Oh! Travis! Ah! Help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you. I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. You gotta help. Me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. It looks painful. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh oh. Okay. Walker, come on, get it off. Oh no. Oh no. Shit, walkers. Now we're never late. Please. Uh oh. Get me out. We're gonna have to cut off his leg. No, 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 no. This chain is strong. Episode 2!
thank you guys for watching. Bye. Skinny. What? What? Dang, all the animals are gone. Yeah. Yeah. I just like blew them up. I don't want a lot for Christmas. Wow. Craziest intro ever. Ooh, where's Clementine? Starved for help. Clem. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come on! Oh God! What happened? Oh, the hell are these? Don't have time to explain! Please. Shit! Are you okay? Into the truck. I'm fine, Clemmy. Okay. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? They're, they needed help. Hey, you want to calm down for five minutes? No, so I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? What? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Hey, I'm just trying to help people. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only Teamwork. reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like Aww. to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Okay. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. But this is this is hard decisions. Don't mark with the wall. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. <sighs> Maybe we could like put into little pieces. I'm going to 
gonna give Clemmy one. Stop being too dang cute, Clemmy. Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get some food? Want something to eat? Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick me up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really. I really appreciate it, man. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. What's wrong with Kenny? I'm gonna give Ken one. Something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Whoops. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Um. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones who need it. Yep. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Oh, GG. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <sighs> oh, Larry. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. Are you down there? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay, I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Um, well, I'm gonna... You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh. I'll be okay. All right, you know, I'm just gonna talk to him. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? Hey, I don't he... know, but Katja will do her best. I promise. 
can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other Don't. way. Don't. Uh. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Oh, hey. Some kind of... I don't know. It would have been better if came out earlier. We could have played uh, Minecraft. God, I didn't! You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. He'll be fine. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when <laughs> we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Okay, see you. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? Wait. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Stop being so dang cute. Dang it. Alright, is he okay? Is he okay? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, uh -huh. I'm starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But please, this man has no leg. I'm sorry. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. I had to chop off somebody's leg. Mm. Scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Who am I gonna talk to? Just walk around. Hey. Just Oh, dog. Let's go talk to dog. Hmm. Dog. What? Do you have any pets? No. Hey, dog. <laughs> What's up, Lee? <laughs> what are you working on? What are you working on, dog? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. That's so. Cool. So we'll know where they are and how long we are. Smart. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. That's okay, Lee. You don't need to be saving my life all the time. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. She told you survival tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or that girl would just complain. She does. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. I don't like him. Yeah, that's why his voice is red. You mean subtitles? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mary. There's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. Thank you. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. But... Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Um. No. Give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. 
Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? I don't trust you. Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Why? Ken, Lee! What? Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's the problem? Let him go, Captain. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? How will you keep him? What? I'm gonna keep The, the... Come back. Ah. Ah. Wait, what? Are... No, I'm a bad boy, baby center. Oh, what was I supposed to do? I had to move? Yeah. To get off. Kick him too. I thought I had to like keep pressing X. Whoops! I'm an idiot who doesn't even know how to throw one. Who? Or hit with an X. It's supposed to go from the top. It's the weakest part of the brain. Front and back. Are you supposed to do this? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Ah, so gross. Thanks, dude. I still don't know your name. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! The, like, the air is filled with a zombie, like... Here, came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's the air. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God, help We're us. Infected. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and, God. Uh-oh. Oh, these are regular people here. It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Uh -oh. That's where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? 
I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. Uh-oh. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. Don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. You're outnumbered here. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. No, no. They raid your camp. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. No, there's no farm. Y'all be there. willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? They're, we they're, got they're plenty at the dairy. I don't think they, they seem they cool. They, don't. they, they don't. seem cool. Why don't you they and do. Mark check the place out to see if it's legit? I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? No, don't. No. No deal. I'm gonna go! No, Ready? don't, 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 because they read your camp while you're gone. Do they? You've oh. got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. How'd you do that, Jasper? Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Oh, they don't seem like they're bad. No, they're bad. You sure about that? Yes. So, this dairy. I watched you guys it. really have food? What? what? Don't, don't yeah, spoil this. Do you diet? You still have, have lots of milk, milk the forest, butter, and cheese stocked up. Like and with right the vegetables there where they're walking, we grow, we got plenty of food. Against those people at the dairy farm, and then you fool. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? I don't think so. As long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. That can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Um, <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Hello. Don't know. It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there Thanks. anyway? I'm Change subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all so out like, why are you there. To like I said, we got plenty of food. I don't know. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Part of them. No, they're not. They are. God, oh my god. If you watch the video. Ah, stop! You have a wonderful Sam. 
when all these walkers start attacking me. And those guys in the last grip attack them too. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to end the video here, people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to upload another one later today, probably. Please put a thumbs up, subscribe below. Thank you guys for watching, and Game Entertainers out.